Uh, and now, uh, time for the penultimate chapter, pretty much, if you roll chapter 24 in the end game together, which, why wouldn't you? And we're time for the Ghost of Burn. So now pretty much Zephyr's dead, because Nolina one-rounded him. Um, and, uh, and we're pretty much just cleaning up his mess. Yeah, pretty much we just gotta deal with his plan B. And to be honest, why the hell wouldn't you go searching for the freaking, um... Divine Dragon or whatever she is. Not Divine know. Dragon, Demon Dragon. Just don't want it. Yeah, why wouldn't you go searching for her? Because she's not, you know, a threat or whatever. Anyway, you fight the last of the, uh, Wyvern or Dragon Generals this chapter. Yep. And of course, like, uh, the other one, and of course she is the other one of the th of the two, um, Wyvern Generals that doesn't use, um, uh, doesn't, it isn't a Wyvern Rider. Anyway, uh, this how this village here contains the last recruitable character. You need to visit, th visit there with either Fur or, uh, Bartry, if you got him. So, if you want a reason to use Fur for most of the game, then you, then there you are. Uh, that's yeah. everywhere else. There's basically these ballista on this island. Um, we have a... Okay, they gave, they, they gave the lords the... That's scary. Um, Not really. Well, I guess the Byron Lord, but yeah. honestly the others aren't too Yeah. Here's Bronya. Why does she have a guiding ring? <laughs> Why does she have it's a guiding ring? It's kind of pointless, ring? yeah. Yeah, like... There's enough promotion items in this game, they just give them to you at the worst possible points. Well, she has cat res, but her defense is manageable, so... The main problem she has is that she carries a Fimble Velter, which is a fairly strong tome, uh, but she does essentially only have 16 speed, so you should have no problems in, uh, doubling her or anything. There's also a bunch also of stages... problematic accuracy. There's also a bunch of uh, other stages stage druids and manakeets everywhere. Also, not gonna lie, um, the wyvern wards are a tiny bit scary, but they're not manageable. Like, they're mostly scary for the amount of power they possess. Yeah. Um, well, overall, as long as you play it safe, you should be fine. What did I actually give you? You have, uh, you have more than enough equipment, I think. Oh, that reminds me, I wanted to, if I can, I'm going to be getting uh, Nima to um, things that uh, part to the, what's it called? Um, uh, Nima to uh, part dark stat. to, uh, yeah, I want to increase that to S rank so she can use, um, but you know, I don't really think I'll need only three uses on that, so I'm just going to give gonna it there. Want, and then no, you're going to want that restore. Um, I have, like, a seven use one no, on... No, you will. You want that restore. There are uh, four hold on, what about Yoda? Yoda chapter. has a three use one, so overall I think I got fairly okay coverage. I can just trade over, um... Uh... That, I don't think that's gonna be enough. Well, I'm pro well, my current plan is go around as one group mainly, so... Like, there's not really much on this side besides... Very stuff. Anyway, pretty much the main thing is that there's mana keats, and you can. It's fairly easy to deal, to deal with them, so. Like, they fall quite easily to magic users anyway, so. Look, seriously, I'm. I am legitimately warning you, uh, you should probably bring that restore staff. I think I'll be fine if I'm traveling in one group. Okay, you're fine. Uh, Alright, well, we'll make. I'm fairly sure we. I'm fairly sure I'll be fine, but whatever. Anyway, time for the spoopy ghosts of burn. So, um... So here's Jan, or yeah. John, yeah. whatever his name is. <laughs> well, not whatever his pronunciation of the name is. Pretty sure it's Jan. The old fan translation had it, had it as Jan with a Y, and I'm assuming that's how it's just pronounced. Alright, so, um... So yeah, pretty much it's just here is kind of like... Precursor stuff. I've never done this chapter before, or the next chapter, but I've seen enough of them to uh, pretty much know what's going on, I think. Yep. And in, in a nice case of uh, Dorian gameplay integration, these since these are the last remnants of Burns Wyvern... 
well with just Burns troops and generals. Uh, that means there's no reinforcements this chapter. Hmm. That's good, I guess. So, uh... Yeah, pretty much we're gonna have to fight because, uh... Well, at least they didn't kill with a messenger like a douchebag. <laughs> Yeah, Guinevere, we already killed your brother. That's kind of like a thing. So... The immortal Merlinus is still... Alright, so on. pretty much I think the main concern here is these, uh, Ballista, uh, users. I might just warp someone over to do not with them. In fact, I'm gonna, I might just warp freaking, um... Actually, what do you have? You have... Flux, which is which means you're going to be doing quite a solid amount of damage. Uh, the main thing I'm concerned about though is what that guy can do. But you shouldn't be hitting fur very well. Uh, what's that con? She's got six con. She doesn't lose any speed from the iron sword. I can just go with that. I think. Uh, what's your range? You have. All oh, right. Well, if I bring you up here, then. Do that. Then I can send you to the village and get the last character in the game that's recruitable. Yeah. All right, and it's a returner from Fire Emblem Seven, or Fire, they returned in Fire Emblem Seven from this game. The uh, chronology. Yeah. Anyway, pretty much. Um... So yeah, he's apparently been just been gone for quite a while, like from this. Yeah. So... Yeah, like in this game, he's not kind of like some sort of like proving himself crazed, like whatever that he was in seven. But instead, he's um... yeah, yeah, he's he's, he's probably... much just an old man enjoying the rest of his life. Yeah, he he actually he he actually cut his hair for this game, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I kind of like the long hair, but whatever. <laughs> I actually prefer this design of Corel. But specific, specifically, if you look up his artwork, right. he, he comes off a, a lot more powerful than he did when so he was younger. Here is uh, Carol, or Carol, however you call him, whatever you uh, pronounce it as. He only has He's one level left to grow, and he comes from with and, pretty, pretty good bases, actually. Right. Um, and allow me to, uh, allow me to, re to uh, okay. read you Here's all the joke his growths. His HP is 210%. His strength yeah. and magic is 130%. His skill is 140%. His speed is 140%. His luck is 120%. His defense is 110%. And his res is 100%. So yeah, the actual very best level he can get is plus 3 HP, plus 1 res, and plus 2 and everything else. And the very worst is plus 2 HP and plus 1 and everything else. He can only get one more level, but my god, it's gonna be a good level. Indeed. He is, a, he is the only character in the game who is guaranteed a perfect level. Yeah. Uh, unless there's some other randomer with like 100%. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. Uh, there's also. Uh, oh, wait, no, we're talking perfect level. I was thinking blank level, my mistake. Yeah, he, he, he breaks randomizers. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, just because if you end up with him as your lord, he, you're gonna have the best lord ever. Without a doubt. Anyway, as I said, I'm hoping to get Nima to S rank. Actually, no, wait, I might actually warp someone over to that island. Probably Geese, considering he can actually walk on water. I mean, if you wanna. But, you, but he can't get in there. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna warp him. Uh. Okay, maybe I messed up. Maybe I shouldn't have moved Nima so uh, instantly. Actually, what's the their range? Um... But okay, I, I can visit some of these shops. Can actually, uh, what's in there? there? Oh, they sell some pretty decent stuff. Uh, I can imagine the killer weapons. <laughs> also, this is your next point in the game. You can get a light brand. Actually, who has the silver card? I actually don't know who has the silver card. Maybe I should have gotten that. Not as if money is any object at this point. Uh, these... Well, the light brand isn't too bad for this point in the game. Uh, what about this one? Um, okay. Uh, there's... Love standard and silver and throwing weapons. Yeah, that's, uh, so you got your pick of stuff here. The 
best armor in the game, and of course it's in like the one part you need to uh, pretty much do already to get to. And I'm just gonna it's pretty much just prepping you for the final chapter. Yeah, like, not as if you'd need 10 chip damage at this point in the game, though. Eh, since it's always 10 chip damage, if an enemy has higher defense than you, than you really have, then 10 actually, 10 certain amount of damage actually does come in handy. Yeah, I suppose. Not to mention it makes picking off enemies just to give, it, give the kills to someone else yeah. much easier. Anyway, I gave Percy the Maltets, and that was my phone. Um, yeah, I gave Percy the Maltets to um, sort out his skill problem, as I thought last chapter, but didn't actually put into effect. So anyway, of course I got Yoda fielded because he's basically like better than Saul, and I have no other reason to keep Saul around apart from he has a C support Yoda, so. And I can move Carol down here, no point in him getting caught up in anything. He also comes with the game's third World Owl, so... Well, third and final yes. World Owl. I don't think you can buy another one. No. There are only three. Yeah. Well, I guess technically four, since uh, one will be in Ilya and one will be in Sashay. Well, uh, only three obtainable, so... Yeah, and there's my one. further proof for everyone pronounces Ilya and Sake differently. <laughs> yep. Mm. I pronounce it Ilya. Yeah. I always went with Ilya for whatever reason. Ah, uh, oh, damn it, if there's one thing I didn't miss in Fire Emblem 7, it was the fact that Flux didn't take forever. Anyway, so it looks like I'm gonna have to deal with these Wyverns. Um. Alright, this the killing ants ones are the ones that scare me most, so right, as for where are you, Nima? Alright, I'm gonna be using the last use of this warp staff to Damn it, I'm not close enough. Now hold on, I guess if I moved him up Pretty sure you are. I'll clear up the Now I wanna actually be able to get him onto the island, so Actually, you know what? I just realised I'm gonna. No, with this one, I think I'm just. It's a killer ballista, yeah, so it's more scary. Um, I think I'll just fly someone over from this side and deal with it that way, and I'll try and get but that one. Can done. you even land anyone next to him? Um, I can only get. Or are you trying seas. to land him into the ocean? I'm trying to land him on the actual island. So. I'm pretty sure that would just strand him. Uh, I do have one use of rescue staff left. Yeah, I guess that could work. Anyway, um... Risk it. Gonna deal with it. Let's, let's use the mode ice. Bit overkill, but that works. I could have just sent up geese and one shot him, but whatever. Anyway, um... So you've been throwing Fire Emblem 4 recently, I guess this is part where we we'll just go on to tangents. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to show off what he actually looks like and not see this sprite in this game. In fact, uh, I, w I actually finished um, se uh, my Hector Mode run of 7 the other day, because I finally got round to that. Uh, I went for the Harkin instead of Carol, just because I actually like... Um... There you go, as expected, there's a crit. I went for Harkin just because I already had Carol last run. Yeah. Oh, okay, he really does not gain much experience. He had to work for that yeah, freaking perfect I, level. I mean, I mean, he is promoted already. Oh, well, I guess, and he's also, like, completely oh, over... 19. And he's overly powerful, I guess, so... Yeah. I guess I can put Hugh up here and just give him an air cover and then that's it. Alright, as for, um... I think I'm gonna move you there and play for you. Use him as a wall. Nope. Da, 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 da. There we go. Alright. Good decision. I, I just want to get the biggest stone this island dealt with. Actually, I, I, I can even move past that. Alright, how's my strategy for dealing with these three? Right, there's a horse slayer, so I guess Percival just became a no option. 
I get, I get, I could try to move Pyrin down there. I mean, she'll have enough evasion. Uh -huh. And I could just shove, uh, hold on, one, two, three. Uh, no, he can only just not make it into her support range. Never mind, I'll just shove him on there. Anyway, I guess... We should uh, probably use Boris as the wall. Well, considering he has 24 defense, yeah. And I guess, just for a laugh, <laughs> I'm going to spy and light brands. <laughs> And I'll buy a couple more counteraxes, I guess. And so I guess the question, do you want to keep uh, Shin's uh, Merkley's on him, or do you want to switch him to the sword? I, might... I mean, there are disadvantages to both, because... Uh, you know, I think one... I'm going to keep the Merkley's on him. Yeah, it's probably for the best, so that you no know, weapon trying all advantage against him. Uh, hold on, I want to see what the range is on this weapon. Alright, um, I think I'd be fine with this setup. If I move Percy there, and I'll put the Nine Axe on him. I, I mostly, no, uh, like, Percy mostly has enough, uh, whatever to survive most stuff, so... I'm gonna move my own fires over here, just over out of the way, and they're not, like, getting over me down or whatever. Right, what do you have? Uh, most of these guys aren't actually too bad to deal with. Wait, no, Elfin's at risk, Elfin's at risk. Surround Elfin, stop anyone. Oh, you can talk to Carol and Roy, Pretty I sure yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like no, I'm gonna put a Worm Slayer on you. I could rescue him, actually. Yeah, um, No, no, you, you don't need to, he's out of their range, I'm pretty sure. Well, uh, I'll surround him at least, and I'll give Roy a Worm Slayer just to uh, hope you will help most people from doing this. Who are Sorry, you? I am, I am a playable character in the next game. Alright. <laughs> wow, that was a... The next game, which is the, the last game. <laughs> Well, in elevator. Try, try to wrap your hand, head around that. <laughs> but that's just a theory, a game theory. <laughs> and I guess you can have an Arioma. Because why not? And uh, who hasn't moved? Oh, it's uh, it's Philip. All right, I guess Here. I can. I guess I can just block you off there, and I'll give you a killing edge. Think about that. She still has quite a few supports, so you can do the. Oh, hello. They're support. going for. He's going. <laughs> yeah, he's just dead. There we go. Hugh is just awesome. They're likely going to surround Hugh. Likely, anyway. Well, he has air caliber, and... Yeah. No, he should be fine. I think I can trust Hugh to deal with these guys. And yeah, they're going to their dooms. Yeah. The Axe Weaver guys and the Killing Lights guys are the most scary ones. Just because Axe Reaver's accurate and the Killing Lance one has that little crit chance. Right, Hugh's proving his worth so far. Just one shot in Wyverns all day long. Yeah, it's what he did for most of chapter 21, so. I'd imagine that's going to be your strategy for when you're dealing with those top ones. Maybe. I think I can, um. I hate Chiron level. Oh, magic, yes, that's instantly a good level. <laughs> well, she doesn't just have, she just doesn't have a power to one top, yeah. but she did get D rank. Which means she can finally use a thunder tome. No, no! Did that, that was it, that was. That, do you see why I don't like killer weapons in this game? Uh huh. Ugh, I'll be back. Okay, took a slightly different approach to as I did last time, and Clarin is actually in a really bad way. So I'm yep. so my strategy is of course gonna be run away with everyone else I have. Now hopefully uh throwing up Nina here. Actually no she's too slow to double anything and I want her to be able to use this apocalypse, damn it. Master threat strats, am I right? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, she gets really badly maimed by most of these, so uh, right, how am I going to do this? I haven't gotten Carol yet, because, yeah. Also, there's a prompt turn one that pretty much says Carol is in that village, so... Right, as for the Wyverns, I've warped over uh, Geese here, so... And, uh, yeah, he kind of ran into that little snag that I was warning you about. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, turn my animations back on. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna have Nima run away then. Run away, run away. Yep. 
There we go. Gonna have your own staff bot, Druid, that the game wants to throw at you. As enemies. Right, um. I guess if I bring. Well, you could put her on the for other forest tile. And... But it's up to you. Oh, I guess. I think I, sure I think I can trust her to survive. Tile right now. Okay, there, there goes a freaking magic level. Okay, who else can I throw at uh let's <laughs> just relax. Yeah, no, she won shot. No. Yeah. Uh this binding blade. The binding blade would work. Oh, I don't uh, wanna I don't wanna use the binding uses. blade if I don't have to. But actually, uh, can you check uh, Roy's damage outputs with regular weapons? The other ones. Uh yeah, no, physical. Not too bad. Actually, actually uh keep That's how it's that's what's Melina's damage with the Thunder Town? Melina does 25, I just checked. Yeah, so... Go, go with it. Uh, I, guess kill, I guess Roy kill could use Roy. experience. The only problem is the other wyverns. Oh, Roy can handle the wyverns. I suppose. So, um, one thing I can kind of talk about is that on my Hector Mode run uh, of Fire Emblem 7 that I did the other day, I decided to use Nino. And yeah, he's all happy about it. She got 16 magic as of the last chapter I fielded her, which was victory or death. Like, seriously, I had Pent. I had no reason to use her. I even had Lucius and all, all everyone else you would probably use. And I didn't use her. Well, you didn't have reason to use Yoder. Now you do. Mm, I guess. I actually did have a reason, and that's and that was because Saul was kind of there. Anyway, might as well go and get Carol. Yep. Just um, repeat a dialogue we've already seen. You much. can trade before you uh, do it. Anything? Uh, well, never mind. Yeah, I think I was I gonna think... ask. I was gonna ask for you to trade him to the Worm Slayer. Let's let's physic at range because screw it, that's the new meta. They actually foresaw that had a close-up animation for that. Yeah. Well, it's basically just an animation. They can play it whatever. So, well, it's basically just no. Yeah, whatever. I'm not. And once again, you're. I'm gonna buy them. I'm gonna spend. For what he was not intended for. Shopping. How's his axe rank? Pitiful. I should probably have used him with axes more. You can equip them out it just to scare people off fighting you. Which um, means they'll go up and go towards him. Yeah, that appears to be how it works. And I'll move Shana up here. Honestly, we'll go with the killer axe. Actually, I'll move Shana over here so she's in voice support range. More support, the better. I guess. Oh, no, maybe. And then Hugh, I guess I can move you down here. Yeah, when I'm playing this chapter casually, I usually just uh, have Shauna with the Delphi shield just go in and sweep that entire island. Uh, I'll probably send my lady or someone. And I forgot to turn on his animations. <laughs> right, there's the next round of wyverns. Right. With Rook as a support, I'm fairly sure Kyron will be fine. Insert Kyron dying here. Oh, you're one of the jinx today. Yeah. There we go. Oh, <laughs> double crit. Oh! <laughs> it's a nice experience for her. Uh, hold on. What's this? Never mind. Yeah, those chances were not good for in the Weapon Rider's favor. Yeah. They never were. Well, when you're fighting a Berserker as a Lance unit, yeah, no, you've lost. Ah, whatever, I suppose that's yeah. useful. You can pretty much rely on anything lower than 30 being, yeah. not being a hit. Um, I don't like to take chances very much. I hang up that blister animation that they randomly took out in 7 for no reason. 
Yeah, that was all, that always struck me as odd. Yeah. I mean, you could just keep the same animation. There we go, dead. In fact, the animation actually is still in the game. It just isn't used for whatever reason. Yeah. Right, the last two Wyverns can easily be, the, be dealt with by Guess Who. Damn, like, Fire Emblem 6 Berserkers are really good. And also, for whatever reason, they changed their map sprites only for, um... Seven. Only for 7. Right, because it's back to the old one from this game in, um, 8. eight. So, like, why did they do yeah. that? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Maybe uh, they just, like... Berserker animation from six more. That was my phone again. Um, hold on, uh, what do you have? You have okay. They all got silver lances of spears or whatever. I honestly didn't like that the Berserker map animation got changed. They could have just made Hawkeye u unique and just kept the Berserker anim map animation the same. Yeah, I guess. There we go. Rook is pretty. That's new. And that was a bike or something outside. Um, actually, damn it, I can't run up the. Actually, I could if I tried hard enough. It's a bit risky, but risks can pay off. Let's go with this. Oh, nice nice trip. Which means you get less weapon experience. Oh, crits a bonus weapon experience. Damn it, she didn't get the. Uh... I'm pretty sure uh, if you had. Oh, she's that close. You lost one experience of it because uh, if she had gone twice, she would have gotten one experience. Yeah, because the way my experience second, was, it and, works like, as three well. Extra as points from, from actually killing. Yeah, the, the way it works is basically using it once, even if it is a miss, counts as one, and any, and any past that counts as uh, two. So. But I think I'm overall fine going with this. Um. Actually, no, I might shove Percy out there. Or just over here with the Maltet. Yeah, weapon experience is actually the reason why the Devil Axe is actually, actually pretty useful. One thing I wanted to know, uh, in randomizers, if you end up with two hammer and staffs, can you hammer and the hammer? Pretty sure you can't. You can't, huh? So they even thought of that. They thought of randomizers before they became mainstream. <laughs> Intelligent systems of the original hipsters. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I guess I can move you there, and I'll move Yoda. Move Yoda there, and I guess I'll put um, you in support range. And I think I'm overall fine with that. And then there's geese, forever imprisoned on this one bit of island. Actually, no, never mind, he can get off and like, go around and such. Admittedly, he's in water and he's going to be very slowed down, but apart from that, of course. He at least gets to be ballista bait. Hmm, I guess. And he's good ballista bait. Yeah, right, I'm thinking let's go with this. Cue someone dying. <laughs> right, the game for Percy. Right, there you go. Hopefully I don't run out and melt it. Yeah, that's that wasn't happening. Yeah. Okay, uh Nice blocked off enemies from being able to reach fur anymore, so Pretty sure you can kill him with fear. Yeah. If you wanted to. Or a ballista bait. I like how they're going so, for Bors, unless Bors is only just on the edge of his range. Pretty sure he is. Mm. Which leaves you an option. Okay, you can hold either on. Either out the Ballista or risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> What's a mistake? There we go. Yoder Height Machine 
kill kills all. I I just gave Yarium a two uh, Lucius, my first one. Oh damn it, that's that's uh, that's not good. Okay, never mind. He missed, and he's not getting doubled. God, I'm a boss. He's a good unit. <laughs> he's the best fire in the six unit. Without a doubt. Anyway, let's. Uh... But yeah, Lucius. Well, I like him. He is not Yoder. He'll never be Yoder. The Oriola is property of Yoder only. Uh, I'm gonna never mind. This. She only borrowed it from ninety-two from the crits. From the future. Sorry, 92 crits! With a word out. Well, I think you can ask. Because we all know about uh, Wrecker's over 100% crit, but. Yeah, if you give him a, uh, if you give him a deep with, support. Uh, right. Supports. Yeah, if you give him a, a support with. If I gave him a support with like, basically one more person, I might as well use this uh, sword, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is why Dyke and Clarine are typically uh, paired with uh, Rector. Yeah. But I think uh, you can also do it with Fear, thanks to uh, her father, Barter. I think the Thunder Affinity. He has the Thunder Affinity. And I'm pretty sure so someone else. Uh, Nima can only just not one round this guy, unless I use some trickery, trickery with um, Elfin. Uh, here's the here's the other idea. No, no. Yeah, we can just go. That gives Paul some weapon rank at least. I suppose so. <laughs> and then long swords. You wanted to give the kill to my lady, eh? Yeah, why not? She was just. I the thought first. you were gonna give it to Nime. No, I'm gonna have her kill this guy because she has the res to stand up to him. I think. Um, yeah, she only takes eleven that, damage. That, this. We're gonna want rescue after her after that because that's in the ballista's range. Uh, oh, you do have a good point. Uh, no, actually, just yeah, check I have, the I have killer it. Ballista. I have it out. Right, just check the killer ballista, you know. Unless she gets a random crit, this should be an easy uh, four weapon EXP. Unless you know it hits. But it didn't. Oh no, never mind, I calculated wrong. Maybe it's just because she's in a support range this time. And she's really close to that weapon EXP. Not to that S rank, I mean. I mean, it's not like you can't give her weapon experience in the okay, final do chapter. You have the, you have the Delta Shield. Alright, we're going over here to, to uh, deal with the things. Actually, and I'm surprised since, since considering. Since Shana's a dodge tank, she should dodge most of right. them. I'm surprised considering that Shana's your favorite character. You haven't tried to solo the game with her or anything. To what over the game? Solo the game with just Shana and Roy, obviously. <laughs> but solo the game with Shana. I may just take you up on that. Yeah, well, all right then. I need to, uh, who can... Okay, I can just move and move, I guess. But I mainly don't do it just because I'm not a fan of solo runs. Yeah, like, like you're normally like I'm sure using... Like, sure, can solo the game, but I don't care. Or solo Gen 1, at least. Well, Gen 1 may I'm as fairly well sure you could pretty much solo the game with just whoever inherits Force City. Like, once they join. I'm gonna have well, equip the binding blade. No, I don't want to use it, I want to equip it. There you go, that should give it the defenses boost that it gives, should be fine. Give us more levels. Hmm. Right, if I move him here, then I can get that support still running. Right, your, um... Right, if I, I want I'm probably gonna do a bit of support grinding at the end of this just because I want to reach like supports that, that, that um I still haven't gotten or whatever. Right, that do. There's still some more weapons. And now Clarine gets to be the most debate for a change. Pretty much. There we go, got a lot of voice supports. 
and how they're divesting it. I guess the Ogier and Bulls. Yeah. I guess the Ogier and Bulls Fire, also helps. Fire supports in general are very overpowered. Like, wind supports aren't too bad either. I think they also good for it. Yeah, and also Anima are pretty good. Uh, Anima doesn't give hits. I think it, it gives something else, but I forget what it does. It, Animas it, I think it gives like a power or, or defense or something. I need. In fact, I'll just uh, check it for myself. Wait, what am I doing? I can get onto land at this bit. Hey, look, it's a crit. Never mind, it's a crit. There we go. Yeah, that works for me. Come on, please quit now. There we go. Oh yeah, one thing I actually did in my Hector Road run was I used um, all three Pegasus Knights just so I could try out the triangle attack. And I'm using the triangle attack in every other game it's in from now on. Okay, I, I pulled up the Binding Blade stats. At the C support level, it'll give... 0.5 to attack, 0.5 to defense, 2.5 to evasion, and 2.5 to critical evade. And it'll oh, just right. keep going up by... It'll just keep doubling by that amount. Alright, uh, looks like getting... Um, I want to weaken the guy here for... Um, unless Hugh just only just doesn't one round with... No, he's yeah, still one bad. rounds, damn it. Um, Ah, my lady. Right, Feng Shaw. Right, if I just play for my lady first. No, I don't want to walk right now, at least. Right, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get the weapon XP I need. Right, she does. All right, she does 26 damage. So as long as I can get him down 26 HP, I should be safe. Uh, this brave Hunt isn't gonna use itself. There we go, that, well, that, works, that works fine. Not even the Wyvern wards double him. <laughs> anyway, he's leveled. He's like me not to that's a, that's a fairly okay level, I can work with that. Called it. Alright, uh, what are you, how far are you? Um, I, I can just get the out right of your range, that's cool. Alright, there was a chance that this can backfire, but whatever. I get weapon XP either way. There Unlikely. Yeah. I mean, she had. Yes, there we are! <laughs> Time for her to not use but hold the apocalypse. And I'll, 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 show off, I'll show off the animation for it on that one guy that's about to show it on the one guy there, so. Thinking about it, you could uh, massively damage uh, Branya with it. I could. The only question is could uh, Nima stand up to it? Uh, with her, with her 18 res, does actually how much damage is she doing? Oh yeah, Ver Verna She's has bolting. She's going to be doing a lot of damage with the bolt. She won't be able to do that much damage with the bolting, but, but she has even with the She's not much attack. better. Right, Nima would if she's if Nima gets doubled, she is getting one rounded. So you could just check the speed. Oh, you do have a point. All right, so. She like, can now so use Apocalypse. Nine with the Apocalypse. That's 12, that's... And she loses 8 speed from it, thus resulting in her having 8 speed. There is no way she's not getting doubled with. Yeah, it has, uh, that's 8 speed, weight. She loses 2 speed from it. Yeah, there's no way she's not getting doubled from that. So I guess. You can just do it if she still has her bolting equipped. And then fill and finish her off with someone else. I guess. I'd have to kind of like bait her into still using her bolting. As for the dragon up there, I'm fairly sure I'll just do and all it. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. They pretty much reused uh, Brenya's boss idea for uh, Limstella and Blazing Sword. Or yeah. Blazing Blade. Pretty much as a penultimate sage character. Yeah. Mm. Both are built up about the same. It's just. Feels... Alright, there's some food for the apocalypse. <laughs> Firstly, I just need to. Uh... Yes. 
there's something you can do. Right, damage, yeah. you can only just not Because I'm pretty sure she can kill them. I'm pretty sure anyway. Oh no, I just want to get this done first. Shana can do. Shana right, can probably kill one of these guys. Actually, no, I'm gonna attack the Lancer the guy with the sword. Uh, yeah, that one hooks. And you can take one hit, I'm sure, so. As for the apocalypse, well, one second. Okay, they are no support, but I bring you Nima, harbinger of the apocalypse. <laughs> yes, those stats are real, and it has. It makes some of the noises you thought the GBA would never be able to make. But it just has this insanely weird animation. But it's awesome. It's a black hole, basically. Yeah, and it gives plus five magic. So she, so it essentially has an artificial plus. So that's it. It has an artificial plus five might on it. And what's even more, this might applies in this plus five magic even applies when you're using staves and such. So I basically just got an additional five warp things on warp. And even more power for the physic. No, uh, pretty much. So, yeah, the two. more power to silence, sleep, or berserk someone. Yeah. And then there's Yoda, he's useful, I guess, but he doesn't get the apocalypse. Instead, he gets the Yoda hype machine. Which is Ariana, so. Right, I'm, I'm trying to get um, Nima and Hugh's support to A rank, so. That and if I can, I'll get Ogio and Boar's B support. Uh, so I mean A support, so they got the B support master chapter, so I guess I'll just uh, use Apocalypse on that dragon. Now, I'll probably be rushing ahead with Melina for the, um, well actually with Melina and Roy because they just have the most uh, stuff that they can do, right, I guess. And I guess I don't want to bait down that dragon just yet. So that guy, I guess I'll just put... Oh, let's put you there. Right, it's not as if I had to deal with Ballista anymore. And yeah, that... He can barely even touch her. That's that's why I like Shauna a lot. She is such a dodge tank. Well, then again, Claren is the same. She just has more snark about her. Okay, what are you... Yeah, oh, exactly. hello! She's, she's not flying. I see what you mean about the restore stuff now. <laughs> yeah, but hey, at least you paid one out. Um, yeah, but that's right. Like... One less use. Alright, uh, he's gonna be stuck there for a while. How much range? How what do you have? Like 23. You have. Oh, there's also berserk stuff. That's not fun. Alright, um, yeah. I guess I can just ferry him over once I'm done dealing with everything else. Yeah. How good is my you doing? Actually, I haven't paid much attention to stats. Ah, oh, they're pretty good. I can use those. Um... Yeah. Also, why did I give? Uh, why did I give her the home? Honestly, you're you're getting a lot much, uh, many much better maladies than I've ever gotten because my maladies have never gotten that good. Well, uh, on hard mode, she starts out godly, so you can pretty much just promote her instantly with how good her bases are. Oh, there's one more round of wyverns. Uh, and that guy's a killer ants. That's not gonna be fun. Okay, he has... <laughs> wow. How much range do you need? Uh, I'm giving Alina the fun time. She should, she should be fine with that. Time to beat up. Status deaths, guys. Pretty much. So, do, do. Yeah, this is pretty tedious. Yeah. But 
it's a lot more fun if you're actually behind the seat. Yeah, Fire Emblem is usually one of those games I find more easily playable than watchable. Yeah. Right. Okay, I baited down those wyverns. Only two of them. But whatever, I guess that's all I need to bait down. Um. Wait one second, let's see how well. Uh, that works. I don't like the 8% crit, but. Hold on. You no, not, it's not worth the use of the Saints first. Now. I don't need to. Why not? Hurry up. Your decision. Yeah, let's go with this. There we go. And yeah, this is why Rutger is a beast. Yeah. He gets weighed down quite a bit by the Durandal, though. 